Hey guys, thanks for joining me today and after a few weeks of waiting, it is finally here. A brand new down quilt from Tear Gear down in Tasmania. So stay tuned in this video to get my initial impressions on this spoiler alert awesome quilt and see how it compares to uh, my enlightened equipment down quilt. But first, intro. So I wanted to start off by giving you guys a little bit of a background. Now, me personally, I switched over from sleeping bags to quilts about a year and a half ago. Uh, my quilt was or is the uh, Enlightened Equipment Revelation quilt, which is, uh, which is a great little quilt. Uh, on trips that my wife would join me on, I would often take my old sleeping bag uh, and uh, put it in my pack and she would take the other quilt just because it's lighter and smaller and it gave her an opportunity to test the uh, the quilt as well. Now, she's quite a cold sleeper, so that was a really big concern, and hence we kind of wanted to, uh, to test to see if the quilt would work for her. And every time she used it, she she liked it even more. So no surprise, we uh, we got her a quilt as well. Now, as you can see, it's uh, it's not a quilt from Enlightened Equipment. We decided to go with the uh, the Tear Gear Company, which is a little company run by Simon and Sarah down in Tassie. Now, a few reasons we decided to go with. Um, with them instead of going in line equipment or another brand. Uh, first and foremost, it's awesome to support uh, an Aussie uh, retailer, Aussie small business. But uh, we, our first concern was obviously making sure we got a good quality quilt that we were, um, or that she was really happy with. And I've got to say, um, with all the research that we did, um, and when I spoke to Simon, who is really, and uh, or maybe even Sarah, who's really uh, easy to get in touch with via email and via Facebook, um, absolutely love the design, love their um, kind of little innovation of using uh, trapezoid baffles um, to help keep the uh, to basically offset the down and to provide better and more consistent feel. And I've got to say that when I hold both the uh, the tear gear quilt and the aligner equipment quilt, there's a lot fewer gaps inside the uh, inside the down. Uh, or inside the quilt with the down. So that's a positive. Obviously this is brand new. Um, this is a year and a half old, so potentially there has been some uh, movement of the down and some clumping, etc., etc. So we'll see how this goes. It does have the horizontal baffles, not the vertical baffles, um, which uh, can be, I guess, controversial in the quilt world um, if you do your research. But uh, I'm quite confident um, that uh, the quilt will do quite well, and it's it's not too difficult to kind of shift the down around if it does start to move and move and migrate. So it's not too big of a concern. But something I do appreciate um, that Simon does is continuously innovate. Um, like I said, they've got the trapezoid style baffles, which so far look really really awesome, and um, I think they will make a difference. But also he uh, just the other week posted up a photo and some info around a new design that he's working on where the edges of the quilt will be vertical, which will help with the downshift um, and also reduce the weight of the quilt in certain ways. You can check out his uh, Facebook and Instagram. He's got all the info there on the quilt. Now, I do also recommend checking out his website or their website. Um, they sell a lot more and make a lot more than quilts, um, tarps, hammocks, and other bits and pieces for uh, camping and hiking. So definitely give uh, Tear Gear a look. I'll leave the link down below. Now, obviously with this quilt, um, we haven't really used it yet. Uh, so this video isn't an in-depth kind of review of the quilt itself. Uh, but I have to say, I've definitely given it a careful look over. We've practiced kind of doing up the foot box um and just kind of mucking around with it and and uh yeah giving it a, a thorough once over and the overall quality of the craftsmanship of the quilt is second to none there's not a stitch out of place and it's just 
it's just done really well. All the materials that are used, the uh, different bungee cords for the um, around the uh, the neck and also for the foot box. Uh, awesome. Um, cannot fault this quilt in terms of uh, the way it's made and the quality of the quilt. So really, really happy with that. How it's going to hold up over time and I guess in the long run compare with the uh, Enlightened Equipment Quilt. Well, I'll let you guys know. I'll do some uh, do some videos. We're just, again, starting the 2019 hiking season. Well, for me anyway, being a winter camper here in Australia. Um, and I think my wife owes me a few goes uh, in this quilt since she uh, she spent a few nights in my quilt. So it's, it's only fair that I use this one a few nights, um, which will give me a good opportunity to uh, give you guys some feedback on it. So yeah, that's about it. Really excited to get out on the trail and uh, give it a go. We are leaving for our Kosciuszko trip over Easter, which is still about a month away. Can't come soon enough. But hopefully before then I'll be able to get away on a little weekend trip and uh, borrow this quilt and see how it goes. Plus test out a few other uh, few other new goodies that I've gotten um, over the summer break. So as always guys, thanks so much for watching. Leave down in the comments um, if you use a different quilt and what your thoughts are. Um, or if you have any questions in general around quilts and why I've switched. Uh, maybe you guys want to see a video on that because there are quite a few reasons. Uh, that I personally feel quilts are better than sleeping bags, especially if you're hiking and camping kind of in Aussie conditions. So if that's of interest to you, let me know. But until then, thanks again for watching. And until next time, happy trails.